Hey guys, welcome to the fifth video of the playlist How to use SOLIDWORKS for beginners the, For those who are new to the channel, the link of the playlist is given in the description box below or you can simply click on the i button which is present on the right top corner of your screen Okay, now we are learning how to sketch in SOLIDWORKS so let us continue with that So first select file, click on new and select part Okay now, as we all know that whenever we want to sketch something, we first have to choose a plane. <clears throat> so in this case, I am going to choose the front plane and I will click on sketch. In the earlier videos, we have already understood the line, circle, spline, the rectangle, arc, ellipse, parabola command. Okay. In this video, we are going to understand the slot command. So if you drop down this menu, you can see that there are di four different options for slot available. Okay, so let us understand each of them one by one. So first of all, I'm, let us like, understand the straight slot. Now in straight slot, you choose the starting point of the slot. Okay, first of all, you have to choose the starting point. Let us say that I want my starting point to be at the origin. So I will click on origin. Now you increase the length of the slot. And after you finish increasing the length of the slot, now you can increase the height of the slot clear let us try this one more time first we have to choose the starting point of the slot then we have to choose the length okay we have to decide the appropriate length and then you have to again say, uh, release the left click here after this you now have to define the height of the slot it is as simple as that okay now now suppose if I want to give dimensions to this slot so I will click on smart dimensions and let's give dimensions to its length first so here as you can see the length size is 125.9 suppose I want it to be 135 so I click on 135 and hit enter now suppose if I want to give dimensions to the height then how I can do that for that there are two different options available let us see which are those the first option you can define the radius so as you can see here the radius is 24.82 now if i increase or decrease this radius then automatically the height of the slot is going to get changed why because if you increase or decrease this semicircle radius okay if you increase or decrease the radius of this semicircle then this point and this point will come closer to each other and if they come closer to each other as a result of this the height of the slot is going to increase or decrease accordingly now here as you can see i am going to decrease the radius and if i decrease the radius then these two points will come closer to each other see it is 24 let me make it 15 see as soon as i decrease the radius these two points have closed come close to each, to each other and as a result of this the height of the slot has also decreased now suppose if i want to increase the height of the slot so what i will do i will simply increase the radius now here it is 15 now if i make it 30 then what will happen this point and this point will go far away from each other let us make it 30 see since the radius has increased the semicircle arc will also increase and as a result of this the height will also increase now as i mentioned earlier that if you want to increase or decrease the height you have two options so this was the first option and you have one more option okay so for that first of all let us define the length let us make it 135 hit enter now you can define the length between this side of the slot and this slide see <coughs> this side of the slot my bad sorry guys okay now here it is 46.07 if i increase then obviously the height of the slot will increase if i decrease the height of the slot will decrease now suppose if i want to decrease the height of the slot and i want to make it 20 so i will enter 20 and hit enter okay so as you can see that now the height of the slot has decreased so as simple as that you have one more option available let me show you which is that option which is very similar to this option only suppose if i draw a straight slot i will choose the starting point 
of the length, the end point of the length, and then I will increase the height. Okay, you can use smart dimensions from this center line to the solid side of the slot. See, it is 15.79. I want to increase the height of the slot, so I will increase this length. Let's make it 20. Can you see that now the height of the slot has increased? So, I hope, guys, that you have understood the straight slot command. After this, we will move on to the center point straight slot, which is very similar to this command only. Before that, I will click on escape because as you can see that my smart dimensions option is now activated. So I, if I want to deactivate it, I will click on escape. escape. Okay. Now I want to delete this complete sketch. So, so I will click left click and select everything. And after this, I will hit the enter button which is present on your keyboard. Can you see that now everything has got deleted. Now let us choose the op select uh, the command center point straight slot. So in this center point straight slot, what happens is that you first select the center point of the length. Okay. Initially, what you are doing, you are selecting the starting point of the length, but here you are going to choose the center point of the length. Now, if you choose the center point of the length, and as you can see, I am increasing the length on the right side, and it is automatically getting getting reflected on the left side as well. Now, after this, what happens is that now you can increase the height of your slot. Okay. It, it is as simple as that. Okay. So first I have to choose the center point of the length. Then I go on increasing the height length of the slot. My bad guys. We first select the center point of the length. Then we go on increasing the length of the slot. And after that you can simply increase the height of the slot. Again, dimensioning part is uh, similar to the state slot only. Okay, you can define the length. Let's make it 500. So sorry, 200. <laughs> By mistake, I entered 200. But that is fine. No issues with that. And here, it is 75. Let's make it 25. 25. Enter. Okay. So that so your slot is now fully defined. Okay. Now. Similarly, you can give dimensions to the other slot as well. Okay, so now I will again click on escape to inactivate the smart dimension. I will select this everything and hit delete button present on your keyboard. So we have under finished understanding the first two slot options, the straight slot and the center point slot. Now, the remaining two slots, that is the three point arc slot and the center point arc slot command are used when you want your slot to be present in the form of an arc okay so whenever you want your uh, slot to be present in the form of an arc at that time you can select the three either the three point arc slot or the center point arc slot so first of all let us understand the center point arc slot so in this what happens is that you first choose the starting point of the arc then you choose the ending point of the arc and now you can adjust the radius of the arc. You can adjust the radius of curvature of the arc. So as you can see that as I am go moving upwards, the arc length is increasing. And as I am moving downwards, the arc length is decreasing. So as soon as you de decide the curvature length, then you can now increase the height of the slot. Let's try it once again. First, you choose the starting point of the slot. Then you choose the ending point of the slot. And after that, you can now define the arc length. And after the arc length is defined, now you can increase or decrease the height of the slot. The dimensioning part is also easy. In the dimensioning part, what happens is that you first have to define the radius of the inner circle of the arc. Now here it is 428. Let's make it 400. Enter 400. Now after this, you can uh, select the radius of the center line. It is 562. Let us make it 530. Now, once the two radiuses are defined, then the radius of the outer part will automatically get defined. You cannot change the radius of the outer part. See, it has been defined as 660. Now, if I ch try to change this radius, then SOLIDWORKS will show an error to me. So make this driven and I cannot change the radius now. It, it, it will remain 660 only. Okay. Now, 
you have uh, one more option for defining the uh, for giving smart dimensions to this arc slot you can give dimensions from the starting point till the end point here you can define the length of the slot here it is 818 let's make it 750 so as soon as you made 750 now the shape of the arc has been changed similarly you can give radius to this it is 453 let's make it 470 okay and after that if you define one more radius it is 385 let's make it 350 so after that you cannot define the other part see this is automatically defined by solidworks you cannot make changes in the radius of the outer slot okay because we are selecting the radius at the last so this is how the center three point arc slot works now as you can see here this is the center point this point which you can see is called as the center point of the arc okay just keep this thing in mind now if you want to delete this sketch first click on escape so that the smart dimension gets off select the complete sketch and now hit the delete button present on the keyboard now let us understand the last command now in the last command the center point arc slot what happens is that you first choose the center of the arc now i hope that you all know what the center of the arc i just mentioned it one minute ago okay so you first select the center of the arc now you select the starting point of the arc and now you can choose the ending point of the slot and after you have done with the arc now you can define the height of the slot okay now let us give the smart dimensions to this again you can give the dimension to the radius see so it is 680 let's make it 560 see the arc has now come closer to this so origin because the radius has decreased and if the radius decreases then automatically this arc will come closer to its center point okay now suppose if i want to give the dimension to the height then i have two options available the first option is either i give the dimension to this radius it is 168 let me make it 120 or i have one more option available see let me show you that option and we will also practice center point arc slot once so first you select the center point then you select the starting point and then you select the ending point and after that you increase or decrease the height of the slot now to define the height of the slot you have one more option available you can define the radius of any two this any two circles okay so let us define the radius of the inner circle it is 570 let's keep it 560 then you can define the radius of the outer circle it is 845 now if you decrease the radius what will happen is that the height of the slot will also decrease observe this thing let's make it 750 and you will observe that the height of the slot will now decrease and you see that the height of the slot has now decreased okay so this is how you can control it now my question to you all can you all give dimension to this radius can you all change the dimension of this radius no you cannot change the dimension of this radius because you have already defined the radius of other two arcs and if the radius of the other two arcs are depend uh, defined then the third one is completely dependent on them okay see so it was will give an error and will tell us to make this driven okay so guys i hope that you have understood the slot command very well and if you like this video then please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and go check out my channel where you will find some other videos on uh, this uh, solidworks as well okay so i thank you for watching this video